Welcome to Momodi, your personal city assistant. I'm Alice, and I will guide you discovering the Cagliari Cathedral. The cathedral is a very important church, entitled to Virgin Mary and Saint Cecilia, is the mother church of the historic district of Castello. Let's talk about history. The first plant of the building is due to the Pisans, who built within the walls of their stronghold, the Castel di Castro, that we'll call the castle. The church was probably founded already in 1217, but the first mention attesting the existence of the Church of St. Mary of the Castle, was in 1254. This original church in Romanesque style, had a rectangular plan, divided into three naves by columns, with a cross vault on the two side aisles, and a wooden roof of the nave. The cathedral was dedicated to the Virgin Mary, like the Cathedral of Pisa, in 1258. After the destruction of St. Egea and St. Cecilia Cathedral by the Pisans, the Virgin Mary Church in the castle district of Cagliari, was elevated to the rank of cathedral. At the beginning of the 14th century it was built the transept, which transformed the church in Latin cross plan, and its two side doors. On the front it was also open a Gothic Malian window, and were carried out work on the bell tower. On the first two decades of the 14th century, it started building of the first chapel in the Italian Gothic style, engaged in the north transept. With the conquest of Cagliari by the Aragonese, it was completed right transept and built other chapels, of which only one of the Holy Thorn, also called Chapel Aragonese, remained intact. In 1618, Bishop Francisco de Chivel ended works to raise the presbytery in order to build the martyr shrine. In November 22, 1669, day of St. Cecilia, Bishop Pietro V. ordered to restyle the interior and the façade in barrack style, entrusting the management of works to Domenico Spitorno. The renovation, which lasted until 1704, almost completely cancelled the primitive Romanesque church. In the early years of the 20th century, following the posting of some marble elements, the Baroque façade was demolished. The cathedral remained for about 20 years with no façade, until in 1933 was built the current Neo-Romanesque façade, Pisan style, using a limestone by the hill of Bonaria. In 1999, was made a restoration of the dome, the roof and the bell tower.